Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Profile Plus. This is Padma. I hope all of you are safe and fine. Okay, so in the Kenoda topic, rain. Rain and the words related to rain. Okay, so in English, in the word knowledge is very, very important. So let's learn some new words today. Let's begin. We will form a sentence structure in our own sentence structure. If we use a sentence structure in any oriented sentence, we will use it in one way. We will use fluency and word knowledge. So, we will use confidence towards English speaking. So, we will do the continuous progress. We will learn a lot of vocabulary. So, we will use a topic in our own sentence. Oriented vocabularies teach panna, ungil ko romba useful ayiru kono na na nche. So inni ke na idhar kira topic rain. So in the topic kila, nama enna na varthigal different different ayiru kar. Nama yenna hatu ko yeh common na orai varthi yeh nama use pandro angar idhar. End of the video ungil ke puriyo. So for those who wanted to seriously take a note on it, you can write down these words and start using from today. Okay? So let's begin. The first word is actually yeah, downpour. Downpour is nothing but when there is a very heavy rainfall. See, we normally say that there is there was a heavy downpour yesterday. Okay, there is another um, a thing way of saying is like the rainfall was like cats and dogs. Okay, so forget about all that. Just start using this kind of a basic words. Okay, so downpour means if there was a heavy rain. So there was a heavy downpour last night. So this is how you use this word. Okay. So the next thing is slushy. If a mara vandir the next day, na mulku rumbo cheerum chagadi mara kanda on the road. So we normally, uh, how, how do you say these words? Like the word is like very muddy and on the madri soldra vartik badla. The word the road is very slushy. The word is very slushy. Tamil la soldo na rumbo cheerum chagadi mara kanda. So on the on the road na maina solvo slushy. Okay. The third uh, thing is drizzling. This is the name of the light. We in English we say it's drizzling. There was a slight drizzling. Okay. So now here the roads are bumpy. Mala one the pono the kapro namak terio lingla, pretty kuli kuria irko, namalika normally roads naria damage oirko. So that type of roads, what we normally say is the roads are very bumpy here okay in this particular street the roads are very bumpy okay so that's another word which you can start using from today then the next one puddles idu nama rombo use panna vendi oru vaartha childhood la nde but nammalku idu dhaan meaning engiradhu nariya perukku therinjirukadu see puddles engiradhu enna na mala ninnadukapra anga anga konju konjuma thanni irukum generally kolandiga vandha adla poi velayaduvaanga right ipo ella yaarume velayadrathu illa malaiyile velayadrathu illa okay so that type of a place is called puddles so the children are playing in the puddles puddles means konju konjuma thanni theenga nikkira kutti kutti kooligal puddles okay so the next word here is splashed. So we are going on the road or 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 any four wheeler heavy vehicles. It's just splashing the water on you. We are not going to be able to get it. So that's called splashed. Okay. So the nearby vehicle, the next vehicle to me, he just splashed the water on me. Okay. So this is how we are supposed to say that word splashed. Okay, the next word here is thunder and lightning. This is also a most common word. See, thunder, idi. Lightning, minnal. Okay, there was a very uh, heavy thunder and lightning. The lightning actually stuck the tree nearby. So, these things are called minnal vandu and the maratha thakiriche. So, such things. So, ingala vandu nama the words like thunder and lightning. Thunder, idi, lightning is minnal. Okay, the next word here is patter. 
See, this is very nice word. I love this word personally. Pattern is nothing but in our roof. In this case, we are in a concrete house. So, normally, the pattern is not okay. But in that case, we are in the village side. 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 Now, we are going to go to the shed. We are in the shed. So, when there is a rain, normally we have the we hear the pattern we generally hear the pattern or pattern of the rain on the roof so that's called pattern okay so the next word is drenched drenched ipo idu vandu kandipa ellarume maathikano ena na nare per na solirukra i just got wet in rain wet in rain solvanga actually ma neenga malaiyila nanjitinga appadina adha solla solra vaartha i got drenched in rain okay you got drenched in amale la mulku mulka nanjitte drenched and people also also use soaked okay something like that so you can start using the word drenched from now drenched na enna na mulusa malai la nanjitte apdingiradhu da drenched okay so the next word is petrichor so this is another beautiful word the people who have a connect with nature will love this word okay see nare per ku mala vara aarambikka pogudhu light a drizzling aarambikka pogudhu na uni nammalku oru puttunarchi varum we get rejuvenated with our mood so appa nammalku enna adha romba special ah theriyona man vasane right so nammalku andha manoda andha vasana theriyum so that's nothing but petrichor that's nothing but petrichor so i will just give all these words in my description please start using it from now okay petrichor is nothing but man vasane okay so the next word is stagnated see stagnated ngirad nothing but a thing nikra thanni the water see after the heavy downpour last night the water is completely stagnated here and there so thanni anga inga thing nikkud correct so we have to be really careful when we travel on such roads so stagnated is nothing but thing nikra thanni stagnated okay the next word here is uh, water logged water logged is also a similar kind of a word generally uh, see your cricket ground irukla and the pitch full ave thanni naranjirum pathinga adanalu match cancel aichu illa or crops romba heavy downpour irukra time la enna avu crops irukra area full ah water logged aayirum so water logged ana ange it's very uh, worst and cricket um velaada mudiyadhu water logged ana crops ku adu abathana oru edam so it's like the crops are water logged so that you know the agriculturist could not just do anything about it so water logged is nothing but it's uh, the match is got cancelled because the whole stadium is water logged okay such examples fine so water logged na thanni moolgi irukra edam malai ku apperama use pandra words stagnated thengi thengi nikkaradhu water logged is completely thanni and adutha full ah moolgirchu so that's called water logged okay there is one more last word called incessant see incessant na idai vidada malai okay so there was an incessant malai incessant rain means todarndu malai penjite irundathu for two three days uh, there was an incessant heavy uh, rainfall here so what about there so you can ask somebody like you know here it is an incessant rain for three days so what about in your place something like that okay incessant is nothing but idai vidada malai okay so start using all these words from now and strengthen your vocabulary skills see those who are really looking forward to speak in english okay do you you have to definitely uh, you know show some interest towards learning different words so my video is fully made on this if you like this video please give a like button that motivates me to do a lot of tanglish videos means tamil plus english okay so enrich empower and emerge with english friends all the very best